Okay, putting this stuff together now for the lower leg and upper leg. Like I said, this part here is pretty much hollowed out, so I'm just going to hide my foot for a second. Just a hide selection. And go into here, turn off my grid. Right. This is the kind of tidying up phase that you have to do. Get all these kind of working nicely together. There we are. Okay, drop into perspective. Make sure this bit's selected by doing a marquee grab, and then I'll do an inset. Uh, I don't want to really do it by polygon. By group's a bit messy, but I think it's going to have to do. Click OK. Oop, hang on. There we are. OK, now I'm going to get these lower polygons here first. I'll just do a group select and flatten them. Once they're flat I can move them up to here. Okay, now the front ones are okay. So what I'm going to do is just select all these and I'm going to use the extrude tool. Extrude by zero and make the traditional kiss boot. I'll bring that up to about there. Basically just get everything kind of lined up at the back here. It doesn't matter too much about the inside, because we're never going to see it, not unless we blow our Ed 209 up. And then, you know, we can just use a 1980s style explosion special. Okay, up here. And if I go through here, and just do a quick, not loop, ring, and a connect. Reason being, I can then pull this part all the way out to here. Okay, let's go to perspective, and there it goes all the way in, just like it should. Now then, I'm seeing some confusing looking polygons here, so I'm going to assume there's some repair needed see what's going on. Yep, it looks that way, doesn't it? When you get polygons like this, a lot of the time it's easier to select them and just kill them, because we can always rebuild them later on. It looks like probably this would benefit from having its, its verts collapsed in. So let's see if we can do that. There isn't a vert there. There is one here though. Move that out of the way for a minute. Don't worry if it gets a bit confusing, it's just, you know, par for the course with 3ds Max I'm afraid. Yep, there we are, there's a break. That would explain it. Okay, I'll just use a target weld. Weld those together. And that'll fix that break nicely. See if we can do it here as well. Okay, I'm just going to kill this polygon here. And do another target weld. Like so. Okay, that's fine. Unhide all. Okay, that's good. Now then, I'm going to want to widen the base of this just a little bit. So, if I can, I'll just do this. See if these will scale out okay. They seem to be. 
I just want to flare them out enough, basically, that they'll fit on here. Yep, they look like they're going to fit on there, okay. And what I'm going to do down here is just move these pieces in. Just a little bit. And that creates the cowl that I want just there. Now, slot it over the top where it's supposed to go here. We can see that I'm going to need to make some minor adjustments to the foot. Which is one of the reasons why I build it in uh, low polygon first. Now let's see. I want to bring this forward a little bit as well. So that's resting just on top of there. I'm going to go here and select these polygons. Because I can bring them down now. Doesn't need to be quite so high as a cowl. Now, the foot's quite large, so... I'm looking at the size of the foot here thing is this piece here needs to be brought in a little bit. Now that if I bring that in that's too thin. However, what I can do is select here and here, ring them, do a connect, and then F3 so I can see what I'm doing better. goes in there, and that goes in there, like so. Okay, that's cool. Now, I isolate this foot, like so. I can now build the piece inside it, so I'm going to do an inset. There's an awful lot of this kind of thing, by the way. You know, slight backtracking. Okay, we're going to do our first hinge from edge. It won't be our last. I'm just going to extrude this up a little. Like so. And I think I'll do a quick chamfer here. Actually, no, I'm heading towards putting too much high detail in, so I'll stop before I start going too far on that. Okay, hinge from edge. Pick my hinge. I keep forgetting that I'm not doing the high detail piece yet. Six polygons should be enough. Delete. Control A and just do a quick weld. There. Okay, that gives us this piece here. Exit isolation mode. And you can see now the foot cowl is kind of fitting on there okay. Now I'm going to want to build the inside of this foot cowl a bit, but probably later on. I'm not really too worried about it just yet. Just checking the rest of my foot. I think the angle's a little bit low, so I'm going to want to just twist this up a little bit. That's better. Okay, so that looks fine. Now, another thing I need to do here is just reset my transform on this and affect pivot only, center to object. I'm going to go into this viewport here and I want to rotate my pivot just a little bit. Um, just going to move it for a moment to about here. Just check my rotation. There we are. Now I can move this back on the local to here. 
like that. Turn off effect pivot only. The reason I've done that is I can now slide that up there, which is pretty much what I wanted. I'm going to take this piece, effect pivot only, and I'm going to use the align tool just to align it with this. I'm going to align its orientation to. This makes things again a little bit easier for me. Okay, now I want to take these bottom verts here. I'm going to move them in the local viewport. And just have them go down like that. Reason being now, I need we'll be able to slide up and down like so, yeah? Now we need to close this off, obviously. So another bridge. And that one's already closed anyway. Okay, just bring that down. There we go. Alright, so that's our leg pretty much lined up and we're able to now start looking at the uh, next piece which really isn't very complicated at all yet again. So, in case you haven't noticed, basically all the complex shapes are made from the previous shape. So yeah, I just reset my uh, pivot there. That was a bit unclever of me, wasn't it? However, I can realign my pivot easily enough. Effect pivot only. Just align the orientation. There we go. Right then, over here. I'm going to create my upper leg, which I'm going to do from taking this and this. Just shift and drag. Clone to object, upper leg. I believe there's a slight degree of rotation on this upper leg piece as well, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that for the minute. Not until I get to the high poly model anyway, so I'm going to flip this. And I really don't need this edge here, so I'm going to just delete the extra verts that I don't need, just using backspace. And now I can just cap that. Reason being, for the two-sided polygon, I can extrude it. And I'm going to extrude this that way. Right, now this all looks like it's inside out, so let's just reset X form. Isolate it. Yep, it is. Select it all and flip. Now it's the right way around. Exit isolation mode. Okay, now, this part here obviously is going to be where it meets the body of the uh, main unit. So I'm going to ring that, do a connect. Delete here. Quick hinge from edge. One hundred eighty degrees, and round about to uh, I don't know five or six segments. Six, I think. Okay, now I want to create a piece that comes out from this. So, a couple of ways I can do it. Easiest one though is going to be and delete these. Then I'm going to take these polygons here and use an angle snap I'm going to spin them around just 180 degrees clone to an element and then all I have to do is pull them down until everything lines up which it does now I can just grab here 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 and do a quick weld then if I do a bridge like
like so. And cap it. There we are. Now, uh, select these ones. I'll just use the select tool rather than select and move. And I'll do a little inset. Now we can see here that these are not properly together yet. Hang on. I'll just zoom in. Yep, there we are. Slight bordering. See if we can increase the threshold till they ping. They don't want to ping, typical. That means that I need to get rid of that. Hmm. Let's see what I can do here. If I grab this vert. Is there anything underneath it? Let's have a look. Yes, there is. There's an inside polygon. So let's target weld this back into place. There, that should do it. Okay, now we can do an insert. And just going to get the insert to about there. Extrude it back. Another little insert. And just need to look at the length of my piece here. Okay, I'm going to just extrude it like so. And this will meet the uh, central hip. Okay, let's zoom out and see how we're doing so far. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, see you in the next part.